All right, guys, this is going to be a short installment into our build series on these two Sea-Doo's here, both 96s. If you haven't seen the other videos, go check them out. What we're going to be doing today is compression testing this 1996 Sea-Doo XP. Compression testing is a good idea because you want to know if your cylinders are performing well. If you're not getting a good amount of compression out of your cylinders, then you know you probably need to redo, maybe replace the pistons, get some new rings on your piston, or even remachine your cylinder. Some signs your cylinders are going out and you might want to do a compression test are a lot of smoke coming out of your exhaust system. Usually can mean that your rings or piston are getting worn down in the cylinder. Also, just decreased performance can be um, a strong sign that you're losing compression in your engine. These are BR8 ES plugs and they'll be the same as the BR9 ES in terms of removing them. It'll just take a 21 millimeter wrench. What I've been reading about this is when you do a compression test on a dirt bike or something, you want the engine to be hot. Um, the readings it'll give for this, um, they want the engine cold. Alright, to test the compression, I'm going to use a EverTouch compression tester gauge set. And basically what you do is you just uh, thread it in here. And it's pretty easy, you just thread it in like a spark plug and then just watch your gauge and it'll tell you the PSI reading. I'll put the link to where you can pick up one of these or you can just pick one up at your local auto parts store if you don't use them very much. They're handy to have, but there's no point in buying one if you're gonna only use it one time. So you can rent them from auto parts stores. A common issue people have when they are compression testing is they don't tighten down their gauge all the way into the cylinder and make sure all their fittings are secured. And then they'll get a really low reading and automatically conclude they need to rebuild their cylinder. You want to really make sure that your gauges are tight on there so you're going to get an accurate reading. And our gauge is tight on there so now we're ready to check for compression. And for that test, we seem to be right around 145 PSI. So not bad, I think that's good, and I'll take that reading. Now let's check the other one. All right, our first cylinder checked out, so hopefully the second one does too. All right, awesome. We got an even higher reading of 150 PSI on the second cylinder. So if these cylinders are in good shape and ready to run, really appreciate you guys watching. And if you want to see the rest of this build series where we get into, uh, we have one more mechanical thing we're going to do is install the VTS trim motor here that I bought. And then we're going to do some customization and make these two jet skis look brand new. So if you guys want to see that, and also the other work I've done on them is on my channel. So if you guys want to check that out and subscribe, that'd be awesome. Appreciate it, guys.